Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So in this tutorial, continue with our, our series on introduction to statistics for machine learning. In this tutorial, we're going to look at variance. So in the last tutorial, we looked at the deviation. So in this tutorial, we're going to look at variance. So variance is also called the square, the mean squared deviation or the mean squared error. So uh, the, this is how spread out our data is. So that's what variance tells us. How dispersed our data is from the mean, from the central point. How far is uh, our, is our data spread out from the central point which they mean? Okay, that's what variance tells, tells us. So, variance is also called the mean squared deviation. So, in the last tutorial, we looked at deviation, and you might notice this is the formula for deviation, right? The value minus the uh, is the mean of the whole data set. So, uh, the mean mean which is the average squared deviation so the deviation is squared and then we find the mean of that deviation again there is a uh, this is a fraction there is a line here but uh, this editor doesn't show it let me just exit uh, slide mode and you can see that's the formula right here so that line is over there okay so now let's go back to presentation mode uh, okay so this is the formula to calculate uh, variance okay so there are two formulas so there is that f the first one uh, which we, uh, with the denominator is just n minus one and there is a second one where everything else is the same but the denominator is n only not n minus one so this is uh, a debate in statistics to why which is the best because both of them are, are used and are acceptable uh, this lead to this leads to something known as the degree of freedom whether you can do uh, n minus one or you can do n as a denominator so uh what most books suggest some of the books uh say that the, the most intuitive formula uh the way of the denominator being n right which is how you find mean right average this actually underestimates the variance underestimates the variance and which you will see this just in a, a short while so uh, how uh how uh, however even using the n will be uh, uh unbiased okay so when we use the n minus one the our data our variance will become unbiased but if you use just the n it to the bias the variance will be underestimated so now let's go ahead and actually see uh, how we can calculate that so let me just close this up and then we uh here we can make a new jupyter notebook and you're going to call it variance underscore deviation uh sorry the uh, standard deviation so we call variance uh variance underscore uh we're going to call it uh, a standard deviation std and then that's okay so we need to import a few things we're going to import numpy a numeric python so import numpy as uh, np and then we can run that cell so to run the cell just press shift and enter on your keyboard or you can just uh, select the cell by tapping on the cell and then pressing the run button okay so now uh let's create a create a variable call it data and we're going to create an array range of data so we're going to call np uh, we're going to call it uh, np dot uh, okay so we're going to create from 20 to uh let's say 300 uh, 300 4000 is uh, 3000 3, is too much and then we can go ahead and actually look at the data and then we can look at the length of that data which is about 70 uh, ele which is 70 elements okay so now let's try to see how we can calculate the variance of that data so you can see np dot ver which is the stands for variance short for variance and in here we can pass in our data so you can press that and then we can see uh we have this is the variance of this data set so this is the variance of our data uh so now that we have the variance uh let's try to uh so this tells us how spread out the data is so let's do something let's change uh from four to uh to okay let me tell you what four does so when we put in here four the difference between the interval between two uh every element within our data uh within our data will be uh four so you can see 20 and then 24 28 like that so interval is four so that that's how spread out the data is by four elements each so let's see how we can uh meet me change this to 10 so the difference will be this the steps will be 10 uh we have 28 and then we can see now the variance has dropped okay so now uh, if you didn't notice that let me just bring this back to four and then i can run this so let me store this in a certain variable um call this one um uh let me call it before 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 variance and then uh i'll run the cell while well, this is a uh, let me just come up here run everything again and then we can print uh before and then we can see this is a variance so now let's change this back to 10 uh this will be 10 and then we run this so we have 28 elements we will not run this cell uh, the, we, we can run this cell and then down here uh, don't run this cell okay the, this one 14 do not run it because it will change that value so now let's do again after 
and then you're going to store in here np dot var and then i'm going to pass in data now you can see the uh, you can print out after uh, after just like that and you can see the variance before before uh the doing the spread the variance was uh 130 one uh 120 132 and then now it is one uh sorry it's, it's 6532 and now it is uh, 6525 so you can see now the data is much less spread so uh, let's try to uh change this back to five and then let's see what we have uh so you can see that uh the data how, how spread out the data becomes whenever i use uh, five it becomes this one okay so that's how we can calculate the uh, variance uh, so now let's look at standard uh, deviation so we are talking about the degrees of freedom so let's see how we can implement the degrees of freedom in here so i'll just make this to be uh, this one and then i'll simply remove uh, the cell out and uh, remove this cell as well so uh, also remove this cell so now we can go ahead and actually see uh, we can press uh, press shift and tab okay w w put your cursor between the parentheses and then press shift and tab parentheses are these uh, curly braces so put your uh, cursor in there then press shift and tap on your keyboard this will bring for you this uh, little documentation press press on the add button and then you scroll down you can see what you're supposed to pass in so a will be the data and then axis we will not talk about axis for now and then what you're interested in is the ddof okay so the ddof by default is zero so you can see by default is zero so let me just take you to the uh, numpy official documentation so this is a uh, uh, numpy.var the, the, the official documentation so this is what they said they call it delta degree of freedom ddof delta degree of freedom so the the divisor used in the uh, calculation is n minus dd of freedom so if you specify dd of freedom to be uh, one then then uh, this uh, will be uh, this formula will be used so by default numpy uses this one where the dd uh, dd uh, or f is zero the, the delta degree of freedom is zero but if you can use this one by specifying one the, the, uh, by making the delta degree of freedom to become one as as they specified here so whenever you pass in one what to n is the number of elements so we just take uh, the number of elements minus one which become uh which will be exactly this formula right here so you can go ahead and actually specify that so you can just come in here and then say ddof uh did you uh, uh or f and then you can specify this to become one so whenever we run this and then we can do uh before and then we can run that cell so you can see that de the degree of freedom becomes this one so let me just create another uh cell up here and then i can do mp dot ver and then we put this person the data without the degree of freedom so you can see there is a slight difference between uh, the two so this uh this underestimated uh, the var the variance right underestimated it as we said over here so uh you can see uh it's underestimated it using the uh, of n which is by default this one without specifying the ddf to be one uh we'll be using uh the denominator to be n and if you use the denominator to be n our value gets underestimated and we have this value but if you use the ddf to be one then uh our 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 variance that becomes unbiased right becomes unbiased and uh you see this one using this will be the unbiased estimate so this is the unbiased estimate so uh just know what you want uh, some books argue that the difference is not that much but uh just know what you want to do and then you can choose which one to use so that's that's how you can specify the ddof the delta degree of freedom uh also come in statistics it's called the degree of freedom okay so yeah that's all i wanted us to talk about in this tutorial so in the next tutorial we're going to look at uh, percentiles right so we're going to talk about percentiles and what they are so if you like these tutorials give it a thumbs up if you hate it give it a thumbs down and let us know in the comment section what you like about this tutorial or what you hate about this tutorial also drop a feedback uh, so that i can know what i'm doing wrong and what i'm doing right so that i can improve on this uh, series set of uh, tutorials so guys thanks for watching again if you have not yet subscribed to my channel can you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this thanks for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial keep safe